Okay, my friends, I just got this from a friend who is uh, in Morocco. He, his parents live there. He's from Holland. Now, his, the guy's name is Afaz Alazou. Right, Louis I'm not certain how to say it, my friend, but I do appreciate and thank you so much for the input. Now, he lives literally above the belly of the beast. Now, he says there's a dark mountain range behind the house. What is that? So, let's go take a look where he was from, where his property is. Now, when I got over here, I started looking to that dark range and I find in extreme close detail and we're really not very high up at all uh, for Google Earth but if you can see this pattern here let me see if that makes any difference probably won't but if uh, if you can see that pattern these patterns of stripes here and that gouge and they run either the scales or feathers or they call it um, muscle, uh, pilated muscle, I can't remember what it is. But it's the same stuff, it looks just like feathers. Now, where are we in, what is all this like? What's that, all that business going on? All those little dots where white is leaking out of it. What the heck is all that about? And look at the symmetry here where it ends, and of course there's some runoff here and there, but it's very um, well bordered. Now this I think, he, he lives right over somewhere in this area, and uh, oops I'm sorry, was, this is bigger than it looks. He lives over, well let's find out where he does it. It's over right over here. This is right where he lives, right there. Or where he's looking from and the back I imagine is here or it could be here but I imagine this is it now that is what we were just looking at and I notice and I understand the pattern of of what you know is probably biology you know this is not just a normal erosion patterns and wind blowing and so forth that is structural from some kind of a creature structure. It's just not it's just not normal to have that exact look. And we know the dragon is right here. So what are we looking at? I'm not sure, but I can tell you one thing. It starts up here and it progresses down here and the flutiness of it ends up bordering down here. Now what that is, I do not know. I just don't know. And then it runs off into the cities down here where they they can grow and you know something's running out of there that has properties that make it exceptional uh, acceptable for farming. And I find that's always from biology and it's always from internal or not not it's always from at least below the skin level biology, clays and um, organs, very, very good. Now, you can see here, there's some kind of serious action going on here. Whatever that is, I don't know. But I can tell you, if you look at this and you start to understand patterns, and you start to understand why is these things doing these things the way they're doing them, what is this thing here? I believe that is an intestine. I believe that's an intestine. Right. And the, the, it's something. Now, what is this? That's another organ, some kind of a structure that is in, that leaches things out of here and has, has a pattern to it that does that. Now, where are we on this creature? We're somewhere right in the belly of the beast right there. That's where he is. Now, I know right over here is the cloaca. Right there. That is right. The cloaca is right there. We are looking at a cloaca. Right there. That trapdoor slammed shut except it pooped when it died. 
That would slam shut right there. Poom. But he pooped when he died, or she, whoever it was. Look at this. There's dragon scales all over. That's the pattern of the wings, I think. You see? That's not just dunes. Now, back to the cloaca. I followed this whole thing down. It's a, it's a, it's a avian anatomy. It has a cloaca, and there it is right there. And that is dragon poop. It's dragon poop. It just splattered right out of there when he died. It happens at almost all creatures. Yeah. No. We have wings. Okay, that's the pattern of the wings. You see that? I mean, it looks like dunes, I suppose, if you were standing there, but when you back out of it, you can see it's got, it's like leathery, it's like leather. Anybody that ever worked with animal hides will understand this extremely well. And that poop is laying on top of its wings. So that wing is from the other side of this creature. That's my take. Alright, because he died laying down this way. The body's here. Poop came on top of the other side of the wing. Now where is the other wing? I really haven't looked around too much. It's probably up here draped off this way. Because it's, it's all the same sort of stuff. If you look at it carefully, uh, you can find patterns everywhere. And of course, you know that the dragon starts up here and he goes all the way down to the Mediterranean. Right? That's still the dragon's tail. Way out here, these flutiness things. You see that? That's dragon flutes. Tail goes way out here. See that? It's dragon flutiness. Now it stops right there. I mean, the damn thing can't go on forever. But if you come all the way from there, shoo, way back here, you can see that's attached to where it's decaying right here. I've been over this many, many times, and you know I don't mind going over it over. It's because it's it's got to be seen, and it's not being seen. They don't care. I'm not paying attention to this. Oh, by the way. Greg discovered that the South American dragon, or, or actually the Easter Coast dragon, has these same flutes. Now let's look at it. I haven't really investigated it close. There they are. He's right. These are the dragon flails that come right off of the jaw. Wow. Greg, you are a genius. Look at this. See him coming out of there? And I didn't pay any attention to it. Now I don't know. Maybe, maybe these are the same things up here. I don't know. This sure as heck looks like it's attached, and that is exactly where the flails are in the South American serpent. I'll show you that, and then I'll call it quits. Look at that! That just popped up. Somebody sent me that dragon lake in Spain, <laughs> and then I had a couple other ones from Spain. Some fabulous shots. I can't remember who sent me that. I'm getting real confused at the amount of stuff I'm getting. So I don't mean to ever not say somebody's name or give credit to whoever it was. I just, I'm, I'm losing some of this detail, i got to be honest with you. Coming in hot and heavy. People have so much to offer. And it's all been just rejected and laughed at. And, you know, people would say something like this. And they say, oh, what a moron that guy is. And then they'd never talk to him again. They'd put him in a corner somewhere and think, what a fool. He thinks dragons are real. Believe me, I understand. And I think this may be those little flails on this thing. I don't know. All right, this is the East Coast dragon. And Greg went and got scales and feathers and everything from this thing where he found spots on Google Earth that matched up. And I think these are the flails coming out of this thing's mouth. And these are the feathers going way up here. I've, I've seen all this and I can show it to you, but I already have. It's on, there's a, oh, several of these videos about the, even the East Coast Dragon. And there's tons of them about the Morocco Dragon. And they're all over the Earth. It's not just here. And it was all written about. We all laughed. I mean, it's just insane. I believe, you know, obviously, thousand miles long, a dragon. I mean, 
who wouldn't call you an insane person? But if you showed them the detail that I am showing, and then they said, you're still an idiot, and then I showed a DNA test of the giants that I have, and they said, you're still an idiot, and I showed all the specimens and all the things, and they, the chemistry and all of the details of the work that they did in stone, using tractors, and so forth. I have no question. Absolutely zero question. And they can walk away from Koya and Idiot. That's what I have a hard time with. Alright, so now we have seen the flails coming away from the Moroccan dragon, the East Coast dragon. This was what they put in history, these little flails coming off. Greg put this together and then he found this. And this just popped me right off the ground. Look at this. It's the same flails. Huge serpents. Look at this thing. Yikes. Now, that is a door that has no way to enter, and nobody's ever been in there, uh, they say. And it's a temple in India that's uh, supposed to house all, literally, as much treasure there's ever been in the world. I mean, they say it's just unbelievable. And I have a video on this showing details of this whole deal. And, um... It's, it's just obvious. I mean, well, who does that if it's not there? And it's in every one of them that we're seeing. Now, in some places they're nice dragons, in some places they're nasty. So, I'm going with they're just like us. And I say this in the other video, so you should go back and start searching around for the dragon videos. I got a ton of them. Because I've been searching this for a very long time. And it's a very obvious, no question whatsoever, what I present is factual, unless you can just unsee which has been the case. For mostly it's all the scholarly intellectual people, they just can't get this to penetrate because they're so upset about the fact that they've just been this, this wrong and so demeaning to everybody else. I mean, they must feel, I, I hope they must feel a little concerned about their attitudes and their arrogance towards all people that talked about God and religion and Jesus Christ and all this stuff and then these ancient myths as being, you know, who knows, maybe they're true. Well, I'm, now we have to absolutely look at them and not feel demeaned and laughed at and considered fools for taking this as a very serious subject at this point. Very serious.